Tom, may I call you Tom? Hopefully, yes. Well, uh, regarding your uh, your recording, um, I would be very grateful if you could submit a video where you record against a metronome. Uh, you don't need the computer to uh, to have a metronome, or uh, I don't know. Actually, you, you kind of need the computer if you have a metronome which you picked up from uh, the online uh, environment. So uh, a metronome that you can find on the internet. But out of what I've noticed, um, you try you're trying to play at the uh, full tempo of the uh, of the piece, and because of that, uh, you have trouble mastering it. Uh, you should decrease the tempo and be able to uh, shift the positions and play and timing. Uh, right now, you don't have any timing control. You play one phrase, you make a little break, and then you go into the next phrase. I don't want to see that. <laughs> I just want to see a fluid motion uh, going from one uh, passage of the piece to another. For instance, let me pick up my guitar. Uh, I'm going to pick up the acoustic guitar uh, just because my purpose here is to demonstrate uh, the way in which you need to approach this. For instance, I'm going to set my metronome to 100 beats per minute, right? And a piece is something like this, if I'm not mistaken. vice versa. That doesn't actually matter because this is not the point of what I'm trying to show you in this video. The point is that I want you to play in time. Okay? So use a metronome, set it to the tempo where you can follow the changes and always um, be in time with the metronome. Okay? So when it goes one, two, three, four, you change one, two, three, four. Okay? Look at the uh, the backing track as well and see where the changes occur because otherwise you're going to at this point you're something like this and so on I need you to be in time when you count one, two, three, four take having a metronome click behind it and focusing on being on time. When you have this one ready, just let me know and post it here and we'll discuss it, okay? You're going to get it pretty, uh, pretty quick, I think. And about the other question, in my opinion, the most important thing that a guitarist needs uh, in these days we're living is to be himself. You don't want to be uh, like X, Y, and Z, or like Malmsteen, Vi, Satriani, or I don't know who. If you want to ask me, uh, well, people have various purposes. Uh, some people want to play on stage. Some people want to write their own music. Some people just want to learn how to play some tunes, and they're happy with that. But for the guitarist that's, that wants to make a career out of music, my opinion is that he needs to learn how to be the best possible version of himself. Trying to imitate other players will only uh, turn you into a clone and things will not be okay because there are a million other guys playing that sort of stuff and chances are that a million other guys will be playing it better than you because they have more time to practice and less responsibilities than you have or me or I don't know who else. But 
There is nobody going to be able to play as good as you when you're trying to be yourself. So that one thing is being yourself and developing your own musical persona. Hope that I get your attention. Go ahead and ask me anything you want then, okay? Cheers.